Ahoy hoy, it's your boy Attack Slug, and I'm back once again with another Where Are You At video where I load up a save file and see where I'm at. And today we're looking at Lollipop Chainsaw, a 2012 release for the Xbox 360, a uh, Suda 51 joint or trip. Uh, but as with the past couple of games from Suda, uh, he didn't actually direct this one. This was Developed by Grasshopper, which, you know, most of these Suda51 games are, uh, and published in Japan by Katakawa, who is an anime company, mostly, um, and oddly enough, published in the U.S. by WB? Uh, who convinced WB to give Suda51 money? Like, that's just crazy to me. Anyway, um... But yeah, this 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 game uh, was another uh, creatively directed by Suda, so not not actually directed. And at some point, I will get to games that were actually directed by Suda, uh, of which there really aren't that many. So it's kind of kind of a shame. And uh, I did finish this uh, back when it came out, so I'm gonna kind of jump into like stage two or something. I don't know. Uh, and kind of just run through how uh, the game works. Uh, so yes, I just, spoilers, I did finish this, and I'll, that's the last boss, is this big-ass dude here, Killer Belle. Um, and this is a character action game, you know, much like A Devil May Cry, or, uh, games of that ilk. Um, and I want to say stage two was... I don't even know. I don't even know what stage two was. I'm looking at this map here now, and not having played this game in quite some time... Uh, I don't know what stage 2 was. So I think we'll just go to the farm. I think that's like stage 3 or stage 4. Oh, alright, alright, all right, it does tell me. Alright, so what, what, what is, what is... I don't want to do, you know, the, um, generic ass. Oh, here's a tutorial, here's how you play. I'm not going to do that, uh, because that's not really ever any fun to watch. Um, although, I don't recall clearly on how to actually play this game. Um, so... Let's recall together, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is uh, another in a long line of games from Studio 51 that are just bizarre as hell. Um, this one actually was done with collaboration with uh, Hollywood director James Gunn. I don't know what he's ever actually done. I have no idea. I don't really watch a lot of movies. Uh, but I'm Juliet. I have a chainsaw. Uh, my boyfriend here is a severed head. Um... And this game is really weird, um, but unlike a lot of other games that have had the vision or direction of Suda51, this game's actually pretty competent when it comes to the mechanics and the controls. Because a lot of games that you play from Suda are, you know, visually kind of amazing and, and aesthetically interesting, but the actual gameplay kind of tends to fall a little bit short. Um, and this one actually does re really well. I thought this one, I thought, um, Shadows of the Dam, which I also did a video of, uh, was really good. And, um, I thought that, the, that the, the most recent one, Killer is Dead, uh, was just not very good. I just didn't, I just didn't like it. That was another character action game, which I kind of thought was not great. Um, so it's actually not in my collection, although I, I do have a bunch of games from Suda51. So, I don't necessarily have my hopes up for his next one, which is going to be called, uh, um, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. Something with the word killer or the word dead in it, and, and, uh, that's kind of what they do. Um, but it's going to be free to play, so that's kind of one of the issues. Uh, so originally that game was, was something different. It was called, uh, Lily Bergamo, and then it kind of went in a different direction with it. And now it just looks kind of generic as fuck. So. Yeah, so this game, uh, you might notice why I would not have Grimm play this game. Just because there'd be just, yeah. It's this style of game that this, that this is. Uh, when you t tend toward the kind of humor he does, it's just, it's not appropriate. I'm sorry, it's just not appropriate. So, we're going to skip the rest of this cutscene. Because uh, the cutscenes are a bit long. Um, and me sitting here talking over it is not the best look in the world, so we're going to get down to the actual gameplay um, if we don't get into another cutscene here. 
Yeah, it's that kind of a game, I guess. So here I am, got my chainsaw, uh, no camera control. Um, you got combos. Uh, what was the chainsaw dash? Yep. All right. And then we're gonna fight these guys, or we're gonna try to fight these guys. So you got your pom poms, and those do a stun attack, and then your chainsaw, and then I get knocked over because I'm bad at this game. Uh, there is a kind of some special stuff that you can do when you get more than one guy at a time. I want to say there are more moves than that, but uh, my. Not having camera control is kind of a bummer, but what are you gonna do? So this game's got combos, uh, but some of them are unlockable. Or I guess most of them are unlockable. Um, so I don't have them all because I kind of just played through it once, and that was that was the end of the story. Uh, the game is pretty chatty, so uh, if I'm talking over a lot of this stuff. I, I apologize, um, but you know that's kind of how I do my videos. Is I, I Alright, well, I guess we're gonna stop eventually and get this. Um, there we go. So I don't remember any of the combos, so I guess that's a... And then you do that, you sparkling hunting, and you get zombies, and that gives you medals, and the medals are important because you're, you know, trying to get a high score because it's a video game. Um, and I guess that's more or less the gist of, of uh... This stuff, there are unlockables, different different outfits, different different uh, things you can buy in their store to you know encourage you to continue playing and play these. I mean, you're playing for a high score, so there are leaderboards and you know there are, there are things that you want to do. Um, to play over and over. I forget what the water does. I know it does something, but I keep forgetting to hit it. Um, so there are named zombies, there are like, I think, 50 of those. Um, and the named zombies tend to, uh, whoop your ass easier. I forget how to dodge properly, which is, I guess, oh, a lock on, alright, that's good to have. So the chain, the thing with the chainsaw is that it's slow. And all right, so we got his uh, card. This game's kind of visually amazing. Like what it's doing with the style is really neat. Like I really enjoy the visual flair of this game and uh, what they did with the aesthetics. And it really just kind of it, it just feels cohesive. I guess is is uh, it's got like kind of a vague cell shading to it, but like just the way that they do all of the crazy I mean it's it's, it's very much re reminiscent of a previous pseudo game of uh, no more heroes but I guess a lot of his games kind of have a you know in terms of the HUD and and things that are on the screen and you know how the game conveys the information to you um has a very uh, punk rock style to it as they would say because that is that is the pseudo way is it's very just video game punk rock and uh, I can appreciate that because a lot of games just are drab and are just un unimaginative and are just not, not, you know. When I play video games, I want video games, you know? I mean, that's kind of hard to quantify, but uh, I am very much all about some video game ass video games. And uh, the more I can get of that, the better. Um, because there are just too many games that, that, that take themselves too seriously, and I can only play so much of that before I just get, you know, irritated. Drab, and you know, gray, and military shooters, and ugh, like, alright, whatever. Like, I don't take video games that seriously, and I can appreciate games that don't take themselves that seriously, and this is certainly one of those. This is just it's over the top, uh, ridiculousness, uh, is very, very much appreciate it. So, let's go to the chop shop here. Uh, God, I love and it sings the damn song every time, and 
I don't know if content ID is going to flag me on this part, so I might have to cut it out of the video. Um, but there are upgrades here. I can get things that do stuff. I can get bullets and, and homing sneakers. And there's there's stuff to this game. This, this combat system, uh, there is certainly, you know, stuff to it. And I can get, you know, like like any game that wants to pad out their, their unlockables, there's concept art. And who cares? Like, I've never, never cared about concept art. Um, but for those of you who like to collect different outfits, there are certainly, um, I don't have enough to, to, to buy any of these, so obviously I'm not going to. It's a bunny costume, you know, because why not? But, but the skills here are, are the important part, is that you can use the medals to unlock, uh, more skills. And I've gotten a bunch, but I don't have enough for any right now. So that's the, the encouragement to play more and more of this game, uh, is, um, get more medals, and then get more stuff. And if you enjoy the combat, then, uh, I can certainly see why you would want to play more. There, you know, are people to rescue in each stage, uh, you know, to kind of get to them bef uh, bef 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 before they die. Like this here. Now, whether or not I actually manage to pull it off and... No, she's on fire. All right, well, I failed that pretty. No, she's still alive. All right, I for, I, for, I forgot they have they they they, they have a health meter. I had completely forgotten. It's okay. I have a chainsaw. Well, not me. Sorry, I've already got this uh, severed head dude uh, on my shoulder here. So, and you know, quick time event nonsense where I'm. Moving the analog stick here and then mashing the X button. It's, you know, a video game. And, yeah, the game, the the Suda 51 uh, style of humor is certainly in full effect in uh, a lot of this game. And uh, if you enjoy that, then you'll enjoy this. If you find that grating and not funny, then uh, you might enjoy this game mechanically, but the part where it's trying to be funny might just irritate you. Uh, but as for me, I thought this game was both interesting m mechanically. Uh, you know, it has issues like, you know, most games from Grasshopper are going to have. Um, but it does play better than, I'd say, am I, am I getting stuck there? It does play better than a good majority of them, and... Uh, I can certainly appreciate that, although I'm getting my ass kicked here by these fucking football players. It's just like high school! Oops. Let's just do that. Cut his head off! There we go, alright. That's what I need to do. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going. Alright. Thank you, camera thing, to show me where to go. I appreciate that. Uh, you can see I'm about... I'm getting close to half health here. Um... I'm hoping to find some more health in the, uh, environment. Um, and we will continue along here, uh, fighting more zombies and hearing more crude bits of humor, um, which I think some of it is funny and some of it kind of just misses the mark. Uh, in terms of, you know, the tone, but I, if that's what they were going for, you know, uh, more power to them. I just, some, some of it for me does fall a little bit flat. It's like, we're just gonna be, you know, uh, we're just gonna say this word for the sake of saying it, because, you know, but not because of a joke, but because, you know, we think it sounds funny. Alright, so another mechanic in this game is that I can uh, throw a head here onto this body, and then quick time event, where I gotta actually pay attention here and hit these things and not screw it up. And there we go. That was how you do those uh, events. And then I get the head back on my on my belt here. And we keep on going through the, the uh, school here. Uh, 
Um, I don't remember how this... Alright, I just got hit. Duh! Should, should've known that. Uh, this is one of the teachers in here. Is this gonna be a special dude? I want that, because it's gonna be... Um... No, that's not what I want. Uh... I forget if there's a... Oh, I'm on fire. Being on fire, not good. Uh, in general. And I thought there's a way to use items, and I'm... Uh, I don't know. Obviously, there are, there are things that I'm not remembering here. Can I just go into here? No, I cannot. Uh, music. No, I could have sworn there was a way to... Like... Perhaps that was a collectible and not a actual health item, which is a shame. I want to say I did put this on 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 easy and not you know normal, so uh, getting my ass kicked is not not particularly surprising. I don't like being on fire, so I don't appreciate that. And obviously, I'm you know. You could watch somebody play this game who's actually good at it and. Uh, get a much better sense of how the combat is supposed to look. Uh, my skills are not great. Uh, I will readily admit that character action games are not my strong suit. Uh, I am much better at like 2D platformers and uh, occasionally racing games and that kind of thing. Uh, although I don't play a whole lot of racing games, but I play a whole lot of 2D platformers and I fucking love those. Um, so we'll go a little bit farther, and that'll be it, because uh, we're already at about, you know, uh, 16 or 17 minutes here. I'm almost dead. So, uh, let's see if we can buy some health. And, uh, do that. How do I... Alright. Alright, I have five. I have five, so... There we go, alright. That was how you do it. I gotta use the D-pad to to select it. And then I have health back. Alright, so we'll just go a little bit longer. Um, and, uh... Head out to... Oh, I could've just kept dashing there and we didn't matter. Get these coins, or these metals. My, my, my electro chainsaw here. And then we have a... An event where, you know, I have to escape or avoid getting hit by the lightning um, coming up here pretty pretty shortly, which, uh, that's, that's, a, I don't care what kind of game you are, that's just always kind of, you know, obnoxious. So we're going to use your reaction time to, actually no, I think I had to do this first. So there, there are, this is a minigame, well, this is, this is a... It's a thing, but it's not. It's a mini game, but it's not. It's knock head up, heads off to yeah. So I don't remember if I actually failed this or not. I think I can. Like that like that, and get my ass kicked further because that's always fun. I know there are combos in this game, and I don't remember how to do any of them, which is kind of I I haven't no. Is that all just D-pad? Alright. Like, I know I can... I, I, I have a meter at the bottom there, and I don't remember how to activate it, or what I'm supposed to activate. I really don't remember. Uh, but that's kind of the focus of most, uh... Where you at videos, is I don't remember how to fucking do anything. Which, you know... Not having played this game in two years, uh... That is certainly... Quit stuffing me there, jeez. He's just fucking like rejected. Boom, shaka laka. Well, I'm either gonna die or uh, continue to get my ass kicked here. Just fucking stun the fucker. Yeah, this is this is going real poorly. That's what I wanted to do. All right. Not that. Wow. By one. So, you know, this game doesn't really take itself, uh, 
terribly seriously. And uh, it is not usually my business to look in the manual on how to do things, so I'm just not going to look it up. But I, I can assure you that that meter at the bottom there, that, that half circle meter, does do something. Uh, I just fucking don't remember what the hell it does. So, but I'm sure it's some kind of a bonus mode or some kind of a, you know, invincibility frame something. I just can't remember. Um, because I play a lot of video games and I don't always recall what the, um, what the individual, uh, mechanics happen to be. Sparkle hunting. And then we move on to a slot. I, I guess that's kind of, you get the idea. Uh, you know, there are bosses. The bosses get ridiculous. Uh, I don't necessarily want to spend another 10 minutes or so to get to the boss. Um, but it is, it, it is a game that I recommend uh, highly. Um, if you like character action games, if you, if you like Suda51, uh, you probably already know about it. Um, but if you are unfamiliar with Suda, uh, I would say go uh, look up some of his other games, uh, including th th this one, uh, because there are certainly interesting experiences to have uh, in a video game. Uh, and so, we're going to end it here. Uh, this is uh, Lipop Chainsaw. Uh, it is out on the Xbox 360, it's out on the PS3. Uh, I happen to have it on the 360. Uh, and this is Tax Slug with yet another edition of Where You At, uh, where I load up all the save files, and uh, I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.